about to miss the best part. This is the scariest thing on TV. Look away if you're easily frightened. Hey guys, it's Mr. DeMeo, and I lost my sock. What? I'm not wrong. Very funny, Andy, but how about this? Maybe instead of watching some scary movies, we tell some scary stories instead. Oh, okay, I'll go first. Once upon a time, there lived a 35-year-old YouTuber who talked to a puppet in his living room. He was pretty cool until one day he started making top five videos. All was well and good until suddenly he encountered an unthinkable creature from the darkest depths of his imagination. Hey guys, great news. I clogged the toilet again. What? Come on, Steve. That's like the third time today. What? I'm on a high-fiber diet. Yeah. Anyway, carry on with your story. Okay, so this creature, it had great big teeth, with great big ears, and a great big... Wait, what was that? Just a minute, I almost got it! Help me. Ugh, every time I try to tell this story, some weird noise interrupts. Tell me about it, but hey, these weird noises we keep hearing kind of remind me of some strange sounds that scientists can't identify. Explain! Well, that's the thing, these sounds can't be explained. Scientists aren't sure what they are or what's causing them. What a perfect way to kick off the spooky season, giving your puppet best friend nightmares for the rest of his life. Yeah. So let's get this list started. Well, our first sound comes from somewhere close to home. Number five. This mysterious sound is called the whistle, and it was picked up by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in 1997. Let's take a listen. The exact location of this sound is unknown, but we do know it happens somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. According to the NOAA, the whistle is similar to other underwater volcano sounds, but its weird whistling has left many experts scratching their heads. Seriously, a whistle? What's so scary about that? It's probably some giant whale whistling as he makes his way to work every morning. Maybe the next one will give you the spooky dukes. Number four. There's a saying that goes, in space, no one can hear you scream. That's because on Earth, sound waves move through the air, and there's no air in space. With no air in space, the sound waves don't have a material to travel through. Kind of like a surfer trying to surf without water. But this next sound was recorded based on the vibrations of its magnetic field and it occurred on a comet. In August 2014, the European Space Agency's Rosetta Probe picked up a ticking sound coming from Comet 67P. Let's take a listen. Is it me or did that sound like a dolphin? No, you're right, it kind of did. Well, I just so happen to speak, Dolphin. What? Do you want to know what it said? Yeah, tell me. It said, You look like Tom Hanks had an allergic reaction to shellfish while filming Castaway. Number three. This next sound also occurred on our planet, and it's called the Upsweep. This sound was recorded in August of 1991 and is believed to have occurred in the Pacific Ocean, somewhere between New Zealand and South America. Let's hear it. This sound appears to be seasonal, with the loudest parts happening between the spring and fall. But interestingly, the sound has been fading since it's been discovered. I'd fade away too if I sounded like that. Well, what if you sounded like me? I'd become a monk and take a vow of silence. What if you looked like me? I'd become a monk and take a vow of silence. So I guess you're saying I should become a monk? Who, me? Well, I would never suggest such a thing. Why, you're perfect just the way you are. Yeah. Alright, because I was getting nervous that you were going to say that I should... Become a monk and take a vow of silence. Number two. 
black holes can be absolutely terrifying. Just think about it. An enormous object in space sucking everything in with no escape. But did you know black holes can make sounds? Black holes have been discovered to emit a sound similar to that of a B flat. Listen to a B flat on a piano. But the B flat from a black hole is a bit different. Because a human could have no chance of hearing this cosmic sound, because the note is at an incredibly low octave. 57 octaves below middle C to be exact. For comparison, a typical piano can only play about 7 octaves. So this octave is so low, it's beyond the limits of human hearing. But I'll do my best to show you what it sounds like. Here is a B flat at the lowest I can play it. And that's about as close as we can get to hearing a black hole. Uh, three minutes in and still no spooky dukes. Are you gonna hit me with some spooky stuff or what? Well, there's only one sound left. Do you think you're ready for it? Please. I've met a T-Rex, a Mosasaurus, sharks, snakes, a Megalodon. I am not the least bit worried about some spooky sound. Number one. The search for alien life has been going on for some time, and our final sound may be our first taste of it. The sound comes nearly 400 million miles away from Jupiter's largest moon, Ganymede. In 1996, the Galileo spacecraft passed by Jupiter's moon and recorded this strange sound. What do you think, Andy? Do you think the sound came from aliens? Eh, I doubt it. We have an alien in our videos and all he does is talk about pants. To be honest, there's no sound in the world that I would find scary. I don't like Halloween. This video could not be made without the help from my patrons on Patreon. Especially Lillian and Davis Sozen, Asunta and Luigi Retta, Rebecca and Sarah F. from Pennsylvania, Nora Close, Oshi, Gavin Watt and his cool dad, Ella Loves Chicken Parmesan, Tyner and Eleanor Bosch, Gavin Huggin, Amelia and Alan Mills, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Elliot Ulysses Coyne, Felix Allen, Adeline Fitzgerald, Jordana and Aaron, Kate and Sarah, Toothless and Light Fury, Owen Vernon, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Haley and Ethan Hebert, Caden Coslin, Anders and Elin, Jacob Paduzzi Thorpe, Jameson, Nolan, and Lily, Ollie and Cammie, Lennon McCartney Jones, Paige, Avalon, and Cash, The McHugh Brothers, Christopher F., Jasper Soros Rex, Max C., Elijah Robert, Oliver from Ottawa, Arthur Watson, Tobin and Nina, Mary Margaret M., Marshall G., Sam and Eddie from London, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Kieran Kelleher, Evan Lee, James Berg, Pfeiffer III, Santi Barajas, Asher Evans, Rowan Scheibels, Greg Matlock, Mabel and Graham, Ian Parker and Braylon Callis, Harry, GC, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Finn, Libby, Oliver, Ezra and Heidi, Trent, Shark, Hodgson, JJ Schmidt, Connor and Emma B, Reese, Timmy C, Kai Kim, Leah and Gavin Clark, Renko, Kostya and Yaro, Ani and Arjun Ayer, Ada S, Xander and Lucinda, Leo Calandra, Leif, Lake, and Ember Anderson Miller, Hannah Y, Dean Scandalakis, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Aiden Fenway Riley, Callum G, Harper, Lily, and Thatcher McCoy, Cosette Domino and Butters the Chipmunk, The Rivard Boys, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Jason the Kid Parker, Simon, Natalie, and Liam McNulty, Emma Kennedy, Edward, Mr. Fast, and Mr. Red, John Douglas Craft, Mia Ladybug, and Ian Ant, Aiden Swift, Gavin Meidel, Brandon Favaza and Mommy, Avery L, Kuchan115, Harrison Eastwood, Nadia and Hannah, Matthew and James Mondiello, Bennett E, aka Pooh Bear, Asher S, Autumn McBottom and Beeg Sauce, Rebecca Beanie, Noah Chin, Gabriella Incarnacion, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Ethan and Axel, Stephen McVie, Cora, Ayer and Joby Douthit, Riker Y, Jack and Easton Hess, Nakia Swift, Grant and Ara Brown, Charles and Olivia, Marlo Reynolds and Henry the Leprechaun King, Ainsley and Braden and Yardley, Brenton and Cosette, Wesley C, Henry Pavelko, Evan Gray, Miera and Mrs. Logrande's second grade class, Isley and Jude Siegel, 
Creative Devin and Zach T. Aiton Judah. Corbin, Sawyer, and Thatcher. The Galker family. Carter, Levi, and Fletcher. Connor, Lecoque, and family. Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, and Jakey Jake. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video, see my videos early, and more. Check the description box for a link. Also, I've hidden a secret coupon code in this video. Try to find it. It's kind of like gray and has a hashtag symbol before it. If you do, you can use it to get money off on stuff from my Teespring store like this, like this, and like this. Check the description box for a link. Also, you want to get a video message from Steve or Andy? Well, now you can through Cameo. Just click the link in the description box to get your own special message. And last but not least, I wrote two kids books and they're available for purchase now. Just visit the link in the description box and check them out.